Here's your 41 Now update, sponsored by Kansas City Regional Association of Realtors. Hello everyone, I'm Mike Maruzars and here are your 41 Action News headlines. A mystery remains after a house fire killed a woman in Independence. Firefighters are still working to determine exactly what caused the fire near 23rd and Lee Summit Road on Monday. They say the ceiling collapsed and most of the damage was in the living room where they discovered the woman. The health department is now responding after forcing a group to throw away food for the homeless. The group Free Hot Soup has served homeless people in Kansas City for years. But that came to an end on Sunday. Officers and the health inspectors demanded that we destroy our food and they were saying that we were violating health code violations by sharing meals with our friends. They were notified back in September at a meeting that they needed to get a permit and they just outright said they would refuse to do that. Health officials say the group didn't have a permit and the food was not properly handled. Mayor Sly James also tweeting about the situation, saying rules are there to protect the public's health and all groups must follow them. No exceptions. The polls open early Tuesday morning, but before that, both candidates for Missouri's Senate race made their final pitch to voters on Tuesday. Here are the Democratic Senator uh, Claire McCaskill and the Republican uh, candidate Josh Hawley. We are 24 hours away, 24 hours away from finally taking back Missouri's Senate seat for the people of Missouri and firing Claire McCaskill. What they get in me uh, is somebody who is capable of moments of independence where I don't vote a party line. I vote what I think is best for Missouri. I don't get up every day figuring out how to fight the president. I get up every day trying to fi figure out how to fight for Missouri. You can vote as early as 7 a.m. in Kansas, 6 a.m. in Missouri. Unlike Kansas, Missouri does not have early voting, which could make for some long lines on Tuesday. It's important to note that in both states, you have a right to vote if you are in line by 7 p.m. 41 Action News will have live team coverage on election night. Our team coverage begins at 8 p.m. on the 41 Action News app, Roku, Amazon Fire TV, Apple TV, and YouTube. Your forecast is next. Did you know a realtor will help guide you through the home buying process from beginning to end? Visit KCRAR.com for more information or to find a registered realtor in your area. All right, here is our forecast of dusting to two inches of snow. That's right, it's possible Thursday night. It's still three more days to look at that, so let's monitor as it gets closer. In the meantime, tomorrow will start out clear and cold, about 37 degrees in the morning, becoming clear and then it'll be increasing clouds tomorrow during the day with the high of 53 degrees then rain possible later in the afternoon so the late polling could have some effects from the rain so here is the election day forecast as you can see 53 the high right around noontime you don't need the umbrella early in the day all right remember you get your news and weather anytime at kshb.com 41 Action News, covering the midterm races on every screen, TV, app, or streaming device like Roku. We've got you covered with the latest numbers and reaction. 41 Action News, clear, complete election coverage.